Well, hello everyone. This is Mohamed Esbalde from the University of the Gambia IT Department. And this video, it is meant to guide students on how to use Google Classroom for the online lectures. So, uh, you will know how to, you should be able to know how to access your Google meeting link where the online video uh, lectures happen okay and also you will be shown how you could ask post questions to the question a question to the class or, uh, also maybe to specifically to the lecturer and also you will be sh you should be able to you will be able to know how to access the class materials and also to access assignments assessments yes assignments and also how to submit um your work for those assignments okay so it is always advised to always go to the website if for because on the website on the there is a page that is meant for these online lectures it should provide you more inf most of the information that you already need okay so you should go to utg.edu.gm slash online okay so if you go to the, this page here it will show you the timetable okay that is the timetable of all the lectures that we are on the portal some be mindful that some courses are not here especially for the master's program courses of for the master's program and also uh, some medical courses uh, courses under the medical school uh, okay so as shared on previous videos we are going to use during this online lectures there are two platforms that are going to be used that is google classroom and also google meet okay so if you come to the website for some of you for some of you who might access this who might try to uh, access the online platforms through your computers all you need to do is to go to these two websites okay starting from this one okay for mobile users for android device users you need to download two applications that is google classroom app and also the google hangout meet app and for apple users iphone users or ipad users these are the two applications to download so but for those who are going to you access these platforms on your computers the most preferred uh, browser is google chrome if you use google chrome you are less likely to have any problem okay if you don't have google chrome and you find it difficult to have a google chrome browser on your computer if you have a mozilla firefox that will do the that will do the work too okay so let us start from from google classroom okay so if you go to the google classroom or if you open your google classroom app okay so it is I'm going to do this video is going to be done on a computer but it's almost the same steps just minor change just minor differences for mobile phone users you will not have a big screen like this and also maybe this these buttons won't be like this so but it's, it will be almost the same so if you follow this uh, guide and you understand it you should be able to do it on your mobile phone too okay so if you go to Google Classroom website or you can just go type in the url web browser url double classroom.google.com okay so if you are already logged in to at least one google account a google account could include a gmail account or a utg account all these are google account okay so it will just load you the main page but if you are not logged into any one of these account or you open just install the app you have no google account in your mobile phone it will ask you to at least connect one okay log into one of your google accounts so so then you'll be advised to log into your utg email okay your utg your utg uh, email account so the utg email is also just uh, another google account and here is a video on how to log into your utg email okay it is just another google account but just that it ends with at utg.edu.gm not at gmail.com okay but if you already have accounts logged in and for 
for this for my case here the account that is already logged in is not my UTG account okay so if I click on it you'll see that okay I'm logged into Mohammed Balde Mohammed Selu 333 at gmail.com that is not my UTG account so I have to switch to my UTG account so to switch to my UTG, UTG account let us switch to this UTG account okay so if we switch to this UTG account here we will see now we now we have an empty uh, interface there's i haven't joined any class yet so now what you have to do is to join your join to one of your uh, classes so you can come to the timetable and search for your class and if you see your class you can just copy the code and just join the class but for our case let us join this let us join to one of these classes k4 p k p m z okay so if you do this if you try to join a class while you are locked into a normal gmail account it will not allow you to do that okay so please so now we have joined this class so here we are seeing an interface that okay this is this class name is online lectures this is just a demo class okay and under the class name here is a google meet link this is uh the initial plan was to for the mid links to be uh written here but just few a week ago google added a new feature where it is easier for lecturers to just add a mid link so here you might see this kind of link on your google classes okay if you see this it's it's just easier so you just click on this link okay but the case that you don't have something like this but there is a name there is a link like this on below the name of your course you what you have to do is to copy this link and paste it in the browser paste it and on your browser URL area okay so this will take you to the work okay so for some reason maybe I had a mistake with the link but if let us start with this link okay let us let us assume that there's already a mid link here so let us follow that one yes so yeah i had an error so this is what it was supposed to be here okay this is what was supposed to be here but anyway after when we click this it took us to the google meet straight so now for example the camera is on and also the mic is on and here it is detecting uh, my my voice okay so it is advised that all students should turn off their camera this will save more credit it will make the internet faster and make e-class easier for you and also it is advised to initially turn off your mic before joining the meeting so that when you join the class lectures you don't create any noise because you know when if the lecturer is lecturing and your mic is on there is a sound coming from your end that won't be convenient for the class okay so it is advised to turn off your mic and turn off the video then join the class if you join the class just turn this off if you join the class now all what you have to do is if the lecturer is in already he would be lecturing and you just have to watch okay so so in case in the case that you want to ask a question that is when the lecturer is lecturing you want to interrupt the lecturer to ask a question or comment all you have to do is to click on the turn on microphone and this will allow you you see now it is detecting your voice so this will now this lecturer will hear you and then you can ask your question okay after if you are done you just turn it off all right so it is that easy so uh, when the class do end all you have to do is just to end the call or close the window okay this is almost the same with a mobile phone so let us say that it uh, in in your class there is no link like this okay the so but there is a link under the name of the class all you have to do is just go to a new tab and paste the link there okay oh if this if you are using a mobile phone please copy the link copy the link go to whatsapp for instance just 
send it to any one of any one of your any one of your friends or family if you send it to them then it is going to show you the link as a clickable link so if you click on it it is going to open the link it is going to open the link on your google meet app if you already have the app installed or also what you can do if you copy the link go to your browser most more almost all phones have browsers go to the browser paste the link there and then click it okay so every link will have a generated token this is the generated token for this meeting okay you could copy this and then go to your google meet google meet mm, google meet application and then type this token okay so that's how you can easily join google your google your the online lectures uh, google meet conference okay so now you know how to join this lectures that is when the time of lectures are free so another thing important thing is when you have maybe when you have a question to ask to the lecturer or you want to post a question to your fellow students and others so all you have to do is just click on this input area and then type your question after doing this all you have to do is just to post it so the entire class will receive this question here so others can comment you can also further comment just like social media just like what you do on your facebook or on or twitter okay so the next step is to how you can access class materials okay so just click on the next tab if you are on the mobile if you are using a mobile phone look for look for look for a tab called class work okay if you click on the class work tab is it might show you class materials if the lecturer do did upload or assignments so here we have seen that this is a class material okay it is called timetable if i click on it it is going to show me let us say this is a pdf document that was uploaded as a class material that is the same timetable so you can just click on it or download it and do whatever you want to do and the other ones are assignments all these ones are assignments so in this example uh, this assignment due date is yet to reach so we have still we can still submit an assignment under this so all you have to do just click on the assignment uh, then click on view so it is going to ask open the assignment now now it will give you an interface which will allow you to ask for the question to, you know you can post a question to the lecturer maybe if you are confused with the assignment okay you can post a question you can post a comment here but this one will be visible to the entire class okay but if you want to send a comment to the lecturer so this is where you do that all this thing will be provided also on the mobile interface okay so let us say that we have done the assignment now we want to upload we want to submit our assignment click on this add more add or create so on the add or create it is going to ask you where is your assignment is it on google drive link but most likely it will be a file in your mobile devices or on your computers so this is the most likely option that most students will use so just click on it then it will take you to another interface where it will ask you to select a file from your computer okay so now let us click on this and then just click on any one of these movies okay let me see a document too that i can upload okay okay let us say this is the assignment okay this is the document this is the assignment i have done okay so now the document is uploaded i could further add i could further add more documents you know i could let us say my assignment is a lot of like it's a project let us assume that it's a project where you have a lot of documents you you should upload 
so you can further add another document or let us say a link a link will be like www.utg.edu.gm slash online you know you could add also add a link you know all this it is pretty easy so after doing all that all you have to do is just to turn turn in your assignment so when it turn in when you are turning in your assignment it is going to show you what document what are the thing materials you are turning in okay so just turn in okay now you have submitted your assignment to the lecturer now the lecturer will see the your submission and it is going he, he or she is going to download it and grade you or whatsoever okay so now let's go back to the class class work now you know how to submit your assignment or view class materials that are uploaded okay so now let us go to the next interface that is people now here you can see all the people that are registered under this class okay so all, all these are people who are registered to this class and also here are the lecturers the teachers who are taking this course let us say this is the lecturer and also and then the teaching assistant so you could send either of them a private message email so you could send them an email you know you can you could send them an email to ask question or you know you know why you would like to send them an email so it is that easy so basically almost that is only if, that is the only thing that students will likely have to do during during these online lectures just to join the meeting google meeting that is when it is time for lectures as there would be a lecture on uh, for each class every week okay as simple as that so please if you have any question or that just send us an email on uh, helpdex at utg.edu.gm so if you have any question concerning these online lectures please send us an email uh, on helpdex at utg.edu.gm and also to get more information please subscribe to this youtube channel at it, as it is the official youtube channel of the university of the gambia all right wish you all the best bye bye